what's up guys this is Izzy Dizzy and um, today I'm gonna be bringing you a tutorial on how to go from video footage that you captured on your HD capture card specifically the HD PVR the HPOG from a uh, giant lossless quality file all the way to a uh, like tiny 20 to like 180 megabyte file depending on the length of your clips that retains like almost near perfect quality so let's start off with the um, capturing device you're gonna want to have your settings as video input is YPR by PV so not as video or composite video YPR by PV now audio input is RCA back I'm assuming that you plugged it in with those cables if you use your like high quality SPI diff or whatever it's called then click on that and then PC audio you want to have it as two channel stereo because you don't really care about 5.1 when you're just recording for a gameplay or for a montage or whatever so now in device settings you're gonna want to um, go to oh wow never mind that's not what I wanted to look at okay so scratch that you want to set it to PlayStation 3 because MT M2TS retains much more quality than um, WMV which is the uh, which is the format for the Xbox 360 uh, I usually uh, enable preview I disable preview on record because it just lags and hardware acceleration helps with uh, making sure that you get every single frame so yeah um, then format settings uh, you're gonna want to have it set to best so to 13.5 megabytes a second and uh, everything else can be on the default other than that yeah that's perfect okay so now that we have that set up you probably are gonna want to render it in Sony Vegas so in Sony Vegas I already have a little clip imported or whatever so right now this is what I would do if I was just rendering in Sony Vegas let's say a gameplay for example which this is render as you want to go to video for Windows AVI so under AVI just go um, there's gonna be a default template that's called uncompressed or basically choose any of the templates it doesn't really matter I'll show you what to put in now go to custom make sure it's H uh, HDTV HDV 720 so that's HD quality make it 60 frames per second so that you're getting the full frames out of your capture card so you don't cut it down to 30 non progressive field order everything else is default except for video format uncompressed so that's the highest quality leave interleave every second this is really important because or else your uh, video won't be able to render in the program that we're going to be using at the end of this tutorial and uh, create open DML AVI version 2.0 must be checked now in audio make sure that you just audio can be basically whatever settings you want as long as you have include audio checked and uh, project make sure you set it to best so once all that is done just render that video out and if you're like me and you read it in After Effects I'll show, also quickly show you what must be done in After Effects so I'll just make a quick composition and um, do this for you and my phone is ringing but I'm not gonna answer because this is a hardcore tutorial so anyway now go to composition add render queue make sure output module is lossless output to choose wherever you want to save your file and then just hit render because uh, Adobe After Effects is set up by default to be lossless quality so um, once you've rendered that out the next and final step is going to be using our compressor so this it's called easy h264 I'm gonna have this in the um, comment box I'm gonna have a download link to all the programs that you need any codecs you might need to run any of these uh, programs or file formats for uh, Sony Vegas or whatever so in video file you wanna select whatever your giant file is so here as you see 4.34 gigabytes you're gonna get giant files you're gonna get like files that are gigabytes in uncompressed quality even if they're like 28 seconds so open then I wanna hit select so now I just type in whatever blah 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 I can't type and then save 
So now once you've done all that, you make sure the video of frames per second is 59.94. If you were paying attention for the rest of the t for the tutorial before this part, you'll know that we're recording in 60 frames per second, so it should be that. And then scroll down the link and choose whatever you want. Do you want like the best uh, HD? Do you want like medium HD? Whatever. I usually set it to extreme plus or extreme HD because that's enough for anybody that's really like almost perfect quality and you just hit start encoding if you followed all the steps that I told you you won't have any problem and you won't shouldn't get any errors and uh, yeah that's about it that'll give you almost perfect quality in a small package perfect example sitting right here on my desktop you can see look at this properties 4.34 gigabytes look at this one properties 22 20 uh, megabytes so that's that was from this file to that file that's how much it went down and it's still almost the same quality uh, so hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and uh, yeah don't forget to rate comment like favorite and subscribe peace